I'm back. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Take two. <laughs> Luckily I wasn't halfway through my entire spiel when it cut out. So sorry guys, this is not how I run my business. I don't know what's going on. If it cuts out again, then I am going to go pour myself a big glass of wine. Hell, I'll just drink it right out of the bottle, whatever. Okay. Let's start over. <laughs> oh, okay. The other one didn't even load. I just deleted it. Whatever. Anyway, my name is Lindsay. I am going to show you guys how to make the most out of home events. Um, I'm going to show you how I get on minimum $500 in my home parties. Okay. Hey, Mel. Hey, Melanie, confirm that I usually don't have these kinds of troubles. This is so frustrating. Um, okay. Now, what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my um, internet service is that I, um, I run my home events in a very specific way. You guys can um, take what you want, pick and choose what you want to do. You don't have to do everything I say. You can add your own stuff and get creative. But this is just the way I have found success in my home events and pulling in, you know, like I said, at minimum $500 um, in PRS in a four hour time period, okay? Now, with that being said, I have done this for almost four years. I, the majority of my income has come through online parties and private messaging, okay, and one-on-ones. But um, here's the thing, with online parties, that's what helps you get out, out of your local area, okay? That's what helps you get into Kansas. I live in Texas. That's what helps me get into Florida and Washington and all those other places that I physically can't be. So that's why it's incredibly important to make sure you are maintaining online events, all right? But sometimes, just as with anything, if we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, we kind of lose, you know, our lust for it, okay? So adding a home event or a vendor event or just some other means, right, can kind of jazz up your business again. And plus, it gets you out of the house. Y'all, we work from home. This is where I sit. This is where I work all day, all night, all right? And sometimes I get tired of looking at that. So it feels good to get into people's homes, meet with other women, chat with them, have a good time, and have fun, okay? So we're gonna get started. Make sure you have a pen, pencil, whatever, water. This is going to be a longer training, but I'm gonna to try to go as fast as I can because I know our time is valuable, okay? Um, awesome, thank you so much for sharing with your team. Um, it's important, okay, for them to, here's the other thing too, is getting your girls out there and talking to people makes it easier also to be more comfortable when you're when you're chatting with people in public you know if you're out um, you know say getting your hair cut all right you're trying a new hairdresser or whatever it makes it more easy to speak to them about the opportunity when you are constantly putting yourself in front of people okay and that's why it's important to go live as well okay we all know the benefits of going live um, you reach more of an audience so when you're doing a home party, I'm gonna start at the very, very beginning, okay? So get your pens ready, your fingers are gonna hurt by the end of this, <laughs> of this training. Um, how I get my hostesses. I might, there might be some disagreements with other leaders on how I do this, but this is what's worked for me, okay? If, it, if what I, anything I tell you doesn't work for you, you know, obviously you need to at least try it first, tweak it to your liking, and then you'll find your groove as well, okay? So how I get my hostesses is I don't cold message people for local parties. I wait until they're a client of mine, okay, until they've used one of the products, all right? Typically it's the mascara, maybe it's a lipstick, maybe it's even the skincare, okay? And that's important by what I'm telling you what product they're using in terms of what kind of party I have, okay? So I'm going to say that again. If Say, I'm just going to give you an example. Say my neighbor across the street, say she um, fell in love with the detox mask that was on a whim, first time purchase, okay? I want her to try my product first before I ask her to host a party for me because I want them to experience the products first so that way they can speak of them themselves at the home event, all right? There's nothing wrong with you know, messaging a girl who hasn't tried a product yet. There's nothing wrong with that. I just prefer to have my hostess have 
product knowledge so that they can speak on it in the event as well. Okay, that way we're kind of linking arms. All right, so say she, um, her name is Kim, okay? Literally, my neighbor's name is Kim. Um, <laughs> say Kim tries this detox mask and I, you know, gotta follow up. Follow up with her and I always follow up really, really easy. I'm like, hey girl, you know, how are your kiddos? Oh, they're great, blah, 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 blah. Awesome. Um, I just wanna check in, how are you liking your detox mask? Have you used it yet? Oh my gosh, yes, it's, it's really cool. I love the bubbling ac action. Awesome, me too, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I just, you know, kind of kick words around with her for a little bit. And then I bring up the event, okay? I'll say something like, hey, um, you know, you're such a hardworking mom. You've got four boys. Would you consider um, having a fun girls' night in, like a spa party? That's it. And she'll say something like, yeah, let me think about that. I'd love to. Okay. Then I say, that sounds awesome. I've got this date and this date available. I don't let them pick a date. <laughs> okay. Because I want them to feel, um, I, I want that sense of urgency in them to book it right then and there. All right. I don't want them to, to kick it around for five weeks and then never get back to me. I want to say, okay, I've got January 13th available. Um, I've got this available. And if the weekends don't work, um, I can do this Thursday evening, okay? Check your calendar, get back to me, and let me know what you think. Okay, she gets back to me. You know what? What's going to work is the 13th. Okay, awesome. Well, let me give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect. It's going to be really fun. Um, I'll come to you. Um, invite your closest five or six friends, okay? My home events are not big. I don't want them to be, to be big. It's too much. There's too many people. Um, and you know how women are, tick, 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 just chat, 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 which is good. You want them to chat with each other, but you have to, if it gets too big, I think my events tops maybe have 10 people. Okay. Tops, no more than that. All right. I'll say, okay, this is going to be so fun. Let's have a spa party because you already love your detox mask. I'm sure your friends are going to love it too. Okay. So what I've just done is I've taken the product that she's been using and that she loves and that's, that is going to be the theme of my, of my home event, okay? Um, and bear with me because I'm going to give you lots of different, of, uh, different ideas of what you can do in these home events. So that way you're not getting stagnant and doing the same thing over and over and over again, okay? You got to keep it spicy for you to stay interested in your business as well, okay? Um, so I'll say, all right, <clears throat> we're going to book it for that night. And this is what I'm going to do, okay? This is the really, really important part, y'all. All of it's important, but really pay attention to this part. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to tell her, look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a group or event, it's up to you, on Facebook where you're going to be the hostess online. We're not going to have the party online, but invite your girls so that way they understand, you know, it's on January 13th, um, it's going to be at 7 o'clock at night, um, you know, I'm going to have... Um, appetizers and you know some alcohol or whatever you know that al always helps always have some alcohol <laughs> um, don't don't tell anybody I just said that um, and I said just invite your girls please don't invite any more than 10 um, actually I tell them invite 10 to 15 because a lot of times only a, like a third of them can't come so if you invite more then you'll at least get the amount of people in that home event um, to attend okay um, so I'll say, okay, invite 10 to 15 people, your closest friends, girlfriends that you haven't seen in a while that you'd love to get together with. And, um, I'm going to make you a hostess in the Facebook event. Okay. I personally use events. A lot of other, uh, Chica's Y sisters use groups. That's totally fine. You have to figure out what you want to do. I'm going to make you a co-host of this. Um, you know, I'm going to make, name it something fun like Kim's. Girls night in spa Something okay, obviously it's way more creative than that, but I'm gonna let you get creative. Okay, I can't Give it all to you. So you need to sit down and come down with some come up with some sort of creative name for your home event But don't say party. Okay, because it's just not Just don't just don't say party. Okay, um 
And she'll say, okay, so she'll invite her girls into this event, which I've already decorated up for her, okay? What I do in the events on the cover photo is I totally creep her page. I grab a picture of her and I'll put it in the cover and then I'll put the title of it, okay? So that way it's super, super personal. All right, it's her face, her friends are like, oh my God, it's Kim. And I'll name it something with Kim's name in it, okay? Then in the description, I'll obviously I'll put the date and the time that we, her and I agree on. And then um, I will, um, in the description, do like two or three sentences tops because people are lazy, they don't wanna read 58 paragraphs of why you're, you know, she's having a in-home spa party, okay? Um, and I'll get all that set up. But I don't set up the online event until about five days before the actual home party. Okay, five days before. All right, so it's a two part thing. I'm doing it online and I'm doing it in the actual home. Okay, so the reason why I do this online on Facebook before we have the actual event is because this is my means to get to know her guests before I meet them in person. Okay, I'm gonna use those five days to gain their trust, to learn more about them, to see what they need, to see what they're struggling with, okay? This is where those connections are gonna be vital before I step in to that home. They're already gonna know me, they're gonna feel like I'm one of their friends already, they're gonna trust me, okay? Um, I'm also gonna ask my hostess a couple of times, all right, in the online Facebook event to, I'm gonna ask her to introduce me, okay? I'm not gonna introduce myself. I'm gonna have her do it. I don't know her people. They don't know me. Right now, I'm just some lady trying to sell some stuff, okay? So if I get my hostess to introduce me, then that's, gonna, that's going to create more trust, okay? Um, so during the week, if I know that the theme of the event is gonna be spa party, I'm not gonna talk about mascara. I'm not gonna give a crap about the foundation. I'm not gonna talk about um, our lipstick, okay? I'm not gonna do any of those things because that's not where they're going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, um, after she introduces me is when I'm going to come from behind, you know, and post a new post, say thank you so much, Kim. Oh my gosh, ladies, I'm looking so forward to seeing you guys on Saturday. Um, I would love to get to know you guys a little better. Um, what are you guys excited about? Or how did you know, how, how did you meet Kim? Okay, how do you know her? All right, so I'm trying to keep it on level where this is all about Kim, not about me, not about me pushing products. How do you know Kim? Okay, they'll answer, you know, and maybe some won't and that's okay, but you'll get those two or three or four that will say something. Um, <clears throat> and then I make sure that I am conversing with them in the event. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome that you guys went to college together. Where did you guys go, okay? So I'm just talking to them. I haven't mentioned anything about the products yet. Um, so we kind of banter around for the first day, not talking about anything other than me trying to get to know them, okay? Eventually, I will make a post and I will say, hey, I'm sending each of you ladies a message. Be sure to check your message folder because sometimes if we're not friends on Facebook, it kicks it off into a goofy folder. But I wanted to ask you a question privately. Okay, did you guys write that down? All right, so I've given them a heads up. I tagged them in that post so that, what, that way I know for sure that they saw that post in the event because you know how Facebook is sometimes. Sometimes we don't see everything that gets posted. So I make sure I tag them. Here's the other thing on the side. Make sure you're not over tagging your guests because that gets annoying as hell, all right? And they'll be like, oh my God, quit tagging me, all right? So I only tag like in the five days, maybe twice, maybe, all right? Um, <coughs> we don't want to piss them off before we see them in person. <laughs> um, so I give that post a couple of hours to marinate in the event. So that way I give them time to have seen it, right? Then I shoot a message and say one of the friends is Sarah, okay, and she's coming, all right? Um, I'll say, hey, Sarah, um, you know, this is Lindsay, this is Kim's friend. I don't say this is Kim's rep for Unique. I say this is Kim's 
neighbor. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, you know, a quick question. I'm, you know, I'm so excited that you're going to come on Saturday. I can't wait to meet you in person. Um, but I, you know, as we know, this is more of a spa type theme. Is there anything specific you, you're looking for? Are you struggling with anything? Okay. Is there anything that you don't like about your skin? Okay. Um, I didn't talk about the products. I didn't talk about anything other than the fact that I'm trying to get to know her. She's obviously interested in coming, which is why she RSVP'd yes. Okay. And I'm leading with value in terms of, you know, if you're going to come to the spa event, we're going to make sure you're leaving happy and you're going to get value out of this. All right. So, um, she'll respond, you know, I'm just, I just struggle with really, really dry skin. Awesome. And you know what I'm doing this whole time while I'm connecting with these women, I've always have a notepad. Okay. I have a page. I write the event name down. Okay. Kim's spa event. Then I write everybody that she invited whether they're coming or not, I write each and every one of their names down. Then I have a column of where I check, you know, it's so super scientific here, where I check, okay, Sarah's coming, check. Pamela's coming, check. Um, Kristen, she hasn't responded yet, so I'm gonna make a mental note that in, a, in about two days, I'm gonna have my hostess text her friend or call her, not private messenger, but text or call, hey, Chris, uh, what did I say, Christy? <laughs> hey, Christy, I just want to make sure you that you saw um, the invitation for um, the event on Saturday. Um, you know, let me know if you can come. Okay, let me back it up a little bit because I, I skipped something. Your friend, your hostess, will have invited all of these girls. She will already have texted all these people because remember, she's these are close friends of hers. Okay, her top ten friends. She will have texted everybody beforehand. And what I do, it's on my phone. I can't show you because it's on my phone. There's an app called Red Stamp. Okay, write that down. It's free. And what I do, um, it, it's kind of like, I'm sorry, I'm kind of bouncing all around. There's just so much. Um, the hostess is going to invite everybody pretty much twice. <laughs> okay, so in the app called Red Stamp, what you can do is you can create for your hostess a really cute invitation online. It's just a, you know, just a little very easy, um, aesthetically pleasing invitation. Um, and I usually use their face. Okay. Or I don't ever put products, pictures of our products on any of the red stamp invitations that I send. Okay. So I create it really fast. It takes me like five minutes. I text to her and I say, Hey, shoot this in a text to the top 10, 15, 10 to 15 girls that you want to have come over for your spa party. Okay. We do that a easily um sometimes almost three weeks ahead because i don't know about y'all i'm super busy and if someone wants to do something with me they need to message me like four months ahead of time because my calendar is just slammed so i give them a good three weeks heads up so that way they can plan okay um so she will shoot out that red stamp invitation that i made for her to her people she will start to get an idea of who can and cannot come okay and then i tell her i'm like remind them that there's also going to be a reminder event um, on Facebook, okay? And for them to watch out for that, okay? So that way they already know, okay, Kim's also going to send out an invitation on, on Facebook, okay? So that's where I do it a week beforehand, okay? And that's what really solidifies who is actually coming, okay? Sorry I missed that. Um, all right. <coughs> so where was I? Okay, so during the five days before is where I'm getting to know the girls. Um, I remind them of the fun that we're going to be having. I will post funny stuff. Okay, I thrive on hilarity. I love memes. I love anything that makes me laugh. And so that's kind of the feel that I put in to the online Facebook event so they understand what they're going to expect in person, okay, because I rarely take myself seriously and I really just want them to feel comfortable and know that we're just gonna have fun, okay? Um, it's not gonna be a hard sell push type thing. Um, so that's what I do during those, those five days. I get to know the ladies behind the scenes, all right, in private message, and while we're chatting, I don't do this at the beginning, but while we're chatting, if she says, you know, my skin's really dry, oh, this is where I was, okay, on my, you know, highly, professional <laughs> check mark sheet 
I will say, you know, this girl's, these, these six girls are coming. These four can't for whatever reason. But the reason why I write their names down is because I am still going to follow up with them even though they can't come to the event. They are still connections. And connections are so, so much more important than any PRS that you can make. Okay? If you don't write anything else down, write that down. Okay? And that goes for online parties too. Or especially if you feel like you're bombing all of your online parties. If you are making those freaking connections, you are not bombing your parties. All right? So... Um, I have to write this down because I'm all over the place. So say six ladies can come and say three can't. Okay. I'm still going to follow up with those three. Hey girl, I saw that you can't make it. I'm, we're so sad. We're going to, we're going to have a ton of fun. You know, if there's, if something happens and you're able to come, we'd love to see you. If not, um, I'm going to, you know, I'll chat with you later or whatever. Okay. Um, but the girls that can come, while I'm chatting and she's, it's say this girl, Sarah says, you know, I just have really, really dry skin. I'm looking forward to this event because I, I really struggle and I can't find anything that will help my dry skin. I'm like, awesome. Okay. I don't say anything about the products, but I write it down next to Sarah's name, really dry skin. Okay. And the reason why I write down the information that they give me so that way I know when I go to that home event, I need to cover dry skin. For Sarah, that is the value she's looking for. She's not looking for a product. She's, right now, she doesn't give a crap what we sell. She's looking for value. She's looking for a solution to her problem. And that's what we are as presenters. We are problem solvers. We are not product pushers, okay? All right, so I've get, kind of gotten to know these ladies. You know, I'm bantering back and forth with them in private message. I'm posting in the event. I'm having my hostess post in there. Um, I'm having her like remind them, hey, don't forget, don't forget. Okay, I, I'm not reminding because I don't want to be annoying. She can be annoying all she wants. Her friends are still going to love her. If I'm annoying, they're going to be like, yeah, I don't want to come. I don't want to come to this party because that chick's annoying. Okay. Um, so here comes Saturday. All right. Um, on Saturday, before that evening, I will kind of do like a countdown. So in the morning, I'll say, oh my gosh. I am so freaking excited to see you ladies tonight. I've loved getting to know you over the week. Okay. Um, I can't wait to have drinks and just be girly and blah, blah, blah. We'll see you at seven. That's my first reminder. Um, then maybe during the middle of the day, I'll post like another funny meme. Okay. And then like three hours before the event, I will post one more reminder and I'll say, Hey, tag, 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 tag those six girls. Hey ladies, and I tag all of them, three more hours, you know, bring your fun. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it changes every time, so I can't keep up. Um, all right, and that's it. So here's where we get to the good part, all right? I, I, can't, I can't express how important it is that five days is before the event. I can't express it because when you walk in and you, you're getting all set up, right, in your friend's house and those girls start coming in and they already know you, they already know your face because chances are you've gone live in that event online, right? You've already gone live just to say hello to everybody, all right? I highly recommend that. People want to hear your voice and see your face. Um, Sarah walks in. I'm like, hey, Sarah, so good to see you. I already know her. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's not like, oh my God, I don't know who these people are. I'm so nervous. <laughs> what are they going to think of me? It's not going to happen because they already know who I am. And I've already kind of gotten to know them. And guess what? In those private messages, I skipped over this part. Um, after they're telling me the, the stuff that they are, you know, needing or whatever, I'll say, you know what? I'd love to stay connected with you even after this event. Um, I'm, is it okay if I shoot you a friend request? And nine times out of ten... Actually, 99 times out of 10, <laughs> they're like, yeah, sure. And that's it. I'm like, okay. So bam, connection, connection, connection. I've just friended not just those six, but all nine of the ladies, even the three that can't come. Okay, I've just friended them all. They are now connections. They're not going to see all my stuff on my Facebook wall. They are all new connections, which is worth more in its weight than I can even explain. All right. So we are now Facebook friends going into the event. All right. 
here is the physical thing I do um, from the moment I leave my house. Okay, I check that off. I'm making sure I'm covering everything. Online group, check. Okay, say the party starts at 7 or the spa night starts, starts at 7. I come in 30 minutes early, carrying my thing, okay, because this is really impressive. If you have this, bring it. Fill your stuff with it. If you don't have it, if you have the little, like the smaller selfie one, bring that. Um, if you don't have these, you can find something very similar on Amazon and just get one, okay? Because it looks more professional than if you bring all your stuff in a Target bag, okay? Um, come in, and I actually take this, and this is part of my prop. So, like, I'll open it up, like, it's this, like, amazing, you know, like, rose flower and all the stuff's, like, shining out of it, like, you know, unicorns. And, um... I'll display my stuff in there and I'll, I'll use the different levels and I have these fake diamonds, <laughs> they're so stupid. But I like strew, you know, I like um, throw them across the table. And But the thing is, my biggest thing with setting up for an online, or blah, 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 for a home party is to not make it look too professional. Don't make it look like a vendor event, okay? Because then that totally kills the vibe of an intimate evening with a bunch of ladies drinking wine and putting masks on if you have this like crazy spread now sometimes it depends on the crowd okay sometimes I will get a little bit more fancy but I try to keep it I tone it down a little bit all right because I just want it to be a group of friends having fun so I will set all my stuff out because you know girls are having wine they're you know eating carrots and you know brie and all whatever she's serving and then they start to kind of like look at the table and they're like oh oh what's this and they'll pick it up and they'll open it they always smell it you know that's what we do oh that's kind of cool um and they'll just kind of look around okay so this is what happens i get everything set up i arrive 30 minutes ahead of time sometimes 45 depending on the theme of the party okay spa is easy because it's just those spa products <coughs> excuse me um, I start talking to the hostess. I'm like, this is what you can expect. Um, and um, I help her get ready. So this is also what I do is I say, what can I do to help? How can I help you? Okay. Once I get all my stuff out and ready and it's all good to go. How can I help you? You need help pouring wine, whatever. So when the girls start coming in, <coughs> And I've done my research because I've creeped their walls after we friended each other because I want to make sure I'm not an idiot and I call Sarah, Kristen, and Kristen, Pamela, or whatever. I'm like, hey, Sarah, oh my God, it's so good to see you. Can I get you something to drink? I am now serving them, okay? They're not here to make me all sorts of money. I am here to give them value to serve them. So I'm like, hey, what can I get you? I, I think Kim's got like punch over here and or some champagne. Did you want either one? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take uh, some punch. Okay, great. I run. I go get it for her. I'm like, here you go. Just make yourself comfortable. But we're going to get started here in a little bit. All right. I do this with every single woman that walks in the door. And then um, I, you know, a lot of women can be late sometimes. And so that's fine. So once the, if the party starts at seven, I really like to get things going 20 minutes later. Okay. So at 720 is when I'm like, all right, enough yapping let's get started <laughs> okay I don't say that but I'm just like okay let's let's kind of wrap this up and so I make sure everybody gets their food everyone's eating they're drinking whatever they kind of peruse the products that I put out and that's when I get started okay now this is different for every theme that I do okay if it is a makeup if it's an actual makeup event because I'm a makeup artist I actually have my hostess sit in a chair and I put makeup on her because I'm providing the value of teaching of how to use the products all right, so she sits in the chair. I'm doing it on doing it to her while everybody watches. All right, but if you don't feel comfortable doing that, that is completely fine. That is not required. All right, if you're doing a just a general like <clears throat> makeup event, then just put your makeup products out and let people look at it and touch it. And you can add, you know, they can ask questions. Or here's another idea if you want to get really fancy. <clears throat> and this works really well too. I've done this one as well. Is depending on the size of the party, if there's like six ladies, we go in the dining room and each person has a setup and they each get their own little mirror, okay? Um, which either, I mean, I have my own, sometimes my hostess has some for whatever reason, so she'll put hers out. 
And I, ha I get these things at um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby, but they're little paint trays and they have little like divots in them. Like typically what you would, you know, pour paint in before you paint. All right. I don't know what they're called. Painters, palette, whatever. Um, and I will do samples. Like I will scrape out. It's physically painful to do this, but from one of my palettes, <clears throat> I will like scrape out some of the powder color and I'll do like three eye colors. Okay. Um, in one in each little thing. And then they each get their own little throwaway applicator. Okay. Um, they get a little sample of primer right in the thing. And so we'll sit there and I will go over how to do a basic eye. Okay. And they love that because it's, it's integrated, it's interactive. They're having fun. They're like, Oh my God, I suck at this. And that's at that point. I'm like, no, you're doing great actually. Um, or I'll say, you know, put the, put this, try not to put so much color in this area or whatever. All right. So they're learning and they're having fun and they're actually getting to use the product. So that's another way you can do it. Um, and then all that stuff, you know, you throw away anything that's disposable, provide them with Q-tips. Um, they have the mirror. They've got their own little palettes. And a lot of times I'll write their name on the palette because they feel, you know, oh my God, this is my, this is my spot, you know, and they can have their wine and, um, and all, whatever. And sometimes I'll have them turn to each other. And I'm like, okay, you put it on her. Okay. And that gives a lot of giggles too. Um, so there's just so many different ways you can do this. Um, so back to the spa party and that's where this, this whole spa thing would be great. So instead of the makeup in these little trays, you can divvy out of your sample, which by the way, all of this, you can write off in your taxes. Okay. Um, as you can <clears throat> spoon out a little of the detox mask. Okay. You can spoon out a little of the nighttime correcting cream. Um, you can spoon out the moisturizers. Okay. And you can go, and you don't have to do anything with the, with the rose water. You just tell them to just spray it and pass it on, spray it, pass it on. Okay. And you can go through the, the steps of washing your face and the importance of taking care of your skin, especially as you get older. Okay. And the reason why we want to take good care of our skin is because it just helps our makeup sit on top of it that much better. Okay. So always have value in the forefront of any and all of your events, no matter what the theme is. Make sure that they're leaving knowing more than when they came in. Okay. They know more about the importance of skincare. They know more about how, you know, what shadow colors look better with what, okay. You see what I mean? But that's where you come in and you have to figure out what, where you want to take it. Okay. And that's what the beauty of this is you can design this all yourself. Um, so back to when they come in, they're eating, they're, they're excited, they're chatty. That's when I kind of round them up. I'm like, all right, ladies, let's get settled wherever. Okay, wherever I have them, whether they're at the dining room table or they're all on the couch, depending on the theme, like I said. Um, they each get also one of these, okay? I bought these at the dollar store, these clipboards. Um, and I have, yes, I have an old catalog because all of my new ones are gone. <laughs> but I just happened to find this one. Um, they each get a catalog with their name on it. Okay. I always write their name on it. This is your catalog. Um, they get a wish list to write down. They get a pen and then underneath is a, it's a contact sheet. Okay. It's name, phone, email, address, blah, blah, blah. Um, hosting and they can check whether they'd want to host a girl's night just like that or have an online Facebook event. Um, more info about becoming a presenter. Um, or maintaining just being clientele. Okay. And I have them each fill out one of these at the very beginning. I'm like, all right, ladies, you know, before we, we begin, you each get a clipboard, um, with some goodies on it. Um, make sure that you fill out a contact sheet. All right. In, in its entirety, because I'm going to be doing a drawing at the end, at the end, because you don't want people leaving, right? You want them to stay and people will stay for free stuff. You have them fill it out. They fold it up. And what's really funny is if you have them put it in something that's funny, don't put it in just a bowl, um, put it in maybe like a makeup bag. Okay. We're going to draw out of this makeup bag. Um, or just, if you can find something funny to keep it entertaining, the thing is you want people to leave remembering that event because when they remember the event that you just put on and your host is just hosted, they're going to talk about it. 
And they're gonna think, that was really fun. I want her to come to my house and do that too, okay? So make it memorable. And the weirder you can get with it, the better, <laughs> okay? Um, so like, or put it in a high heel or like a boot or something, okay? Um, but they all fill it out and then you're, you say, I'm gonna do a drawing for a fun little goodie bag that I put together for the winner, okay? Um, so I brought out a couple of things. Um, these are really cute, selfie prep kit. And you can do anything. It doesn't have to be $6,000 worth of stuff in there. You can, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll go to, go to the dollar store and they have cute nail files um, or even the dollar spot at Target. Every now and then they have these like really girly stuff and I'll find things, I'm like, oh, that would be really cute for a giveaway. So it's not necessarily our products. It could be maybe um, one, one of our pressed shadows, that'll go in there. Um, but then I'll fill it with like some candy and then I'll add, um, like a nail file or you know what I mean so just like some fun girly stuff okay and put it in a fun bag so it looks like you know what you're doing all right and then I think I got this at the dollar spot somewhere this is his kiss and makeup I mean that's fun who doesn't like bags or if you hoard these things like I do I have a whole shelf full of these I'll put it in this because this is hey unique remember this is what I do um, and they'll they'll get a free bag with it as well Okay, so you wanna make sure that you do that drawing at the end, and then I always have my hostess do the drawing. She's the one that pulls it out of whatever ridiculous item <laughs> that you put all the names in, okay? So you let her have that fun. All right, so they know that they have this. They've all filled their stuff out. They've given it to you, okay, and they hang on to this. This is where, this is one of the, the, the best things that I've ever done, and it's made a huge, huge impact. I have the hostess stand up in front of everybody. And I'll say, all right, guys, so we're gonna get started. Um, thank you guys for filling out your contact sheet. Can't wait to do the drawing later. Um, right now, we're gonna talk about Kim, okay? So I wanna let you guys know, I met her you know, five years ago. She's an amazing neighbor. I love her kids. Um, you know, I love seeing her outside. We've just, we've just become really good friends, okay? Um, and that's when I will pull out a card, okay? It's a blank card, all right? <clears throat> and I try to keep it very unique-y, so like this is very purpley and sparkly. I already have her name on the front. I've already filled it out. And I'll say just a little bit about myself. You know, I'm Lindsay, I've got three kiddos, ages, this, that, and the other thing. Um, I've been with Unique for almost four years. I absolutely love my job because I get to hang out with amazing women like you. Um, I mean, how fun is this? I get paid to do this, this is amazing, right? What I'm doing right now is I am recruiting, okay? By not recruiting. And I will say, I, I like to recruit third party in a home party. And this is how, this is how I put it out there, all right? I'm sure you guys are all like, what? What does she say, what does she say? I will say something like, there's nothing better than working with women who are single moms, who are um, maybe newly married, or women who are just wanna get out of their jobs and work from home. It's just been such an amazing experience to work with these women and to see how much this has changed their lives. So what did I just do? right there. Do you think that I went onto Sarah's page and saw that she's a single mom? Hell yeah, I did. Do you think I saw on Pamela's page that she works 90 hours a week at a job she hates? Hell yeah, I did. So I write that down. This is my audience. This is who I'm talking to. So don't you think I'm going to talk to them in a manner that they're going to be like, oh, but I'm not gonna talk to them. I'm gonna talk to them without talking to them. You get what I'm putting down? Are you picking it up? So I just talked to Sarah about her being a single mom without ever mentioning it. I just talked about how amazing it is to be able to work with single moms um, and watch them change their lives and being able to feel worthy and independent and you know, self financially strong. I can't put my words together, all right? Y'all are like, how the hell does she do this at a home event? She can't even, she can't even train. <laughs> all 
I promise it's much more eloquent than this but um, anyway so and it's really fast I say it in like 30 seconds and I let it marinate okay they just sit there and they're like huh and you can see it in their eyes they're like they're, they're, that moment where they kind of look away for a second they're thinking about it okay if you go balls to wall with it and that's all you talk about they're gonna be like oh she's so annoying it's like, ah. okay so don't do that just throw it out there really quick and you're good to go okay so after you say after I say that I will say not only you know has this been an amazing experience for me and I yada yada I love all these girls everything I just said I will say one of our biggest or actually our biggest mission in this company is to uplift and empower and validate women of all kinds all walks of lives anywhere around the world okay and I want to do that tonight for Kim because like I said she's an amazing friend so I have this card here and I'm gonna pass it around okay I'm gonna pass it around while we get started with this pen okay and also have like a fun pen that has like a big ass feather on the end of it okay or just something ridiculous so that way they remember all right I'm gonna pass this card around and I want you to write your favorite thing about Kim okay or what you what you love most about her doesn't have to be long just put it in the put it in the card we're gonna pass around give it to me when you're done and I'm going to put it in here I'm gonna seal it and she's gonna I'm gonna let her read it after you guys leave okay this is such a huge hit because again I'm glorifying Kim as my hostess this is not about me this is about Kim and it's about them it's not about me okay <clears throat> and this always catches the hostess off guard she has no idea I'm gonna do this it's not that big of a deal this cost me 10 cents but it means so much to her because we know as women we're really really hard on ourselves worse than we are with each other right so if we get words of affirmation coming from other women especially the women closest to us it means more than anything at all so this always takes them off guard and I love seeing their face and I love making them cry <laughs> Um, I had one of my hosts she just burst into tears because she was having a really shitty life <clears throat> her health was going down the hill she was very anxious she was having panic attacks this that and the other thing so when I said this and they, she started watching all the women do it she just started crying she's like Ugh. you know and it was it was awesome I was so glad to make her cry um, not in a vicious way but it got to her and I guarantee you she remembers that event and her friends do as well so they're passing it around they're writing really sweet stuff in it I take it and um, I seal it and then I just kind of like here you go put it somewhere safe okay and she you know stick it on her counter or something am I right girls we're gonna get started so and I'm gonna stick with the spa thing okay guys we're gonna get started um, this is what I do to get my best skincare and then I go through each and every step I let them have fun with it they each get a washcloth you know to wipe it off um, you know because you can't really send them each to the bathroom to wash off their face so they they do their best that they can with it while they're sitting there and I explain the benefits of each product this is, this exfoliating mask is amazing if you have you know dry patches and you want to scrub make sure you do it like this leave it on yada yada um, <clears throat> and lots of benefits and values so that way they're thinking in their head oh my gosh I really need this I really need this okay I go through the whole spiel then at the end as they're you can tell when they start to get restless that's when I start to wrap it up if I still have a lot of engagement with them and they're just like zoned in on me then I kind of keep going a little bit longer because they're listening but if they start to get restless then I, I can tell I start to wrap it up um, <clears throat> so once everybody's done I will say all right so like I said earlier we all love Kim we're all here for Kim um, she does currently have a custom exclusive link just for her okay again I'm making her feel special um, I have my computer set up over here if there's something that you use tonight that you absolutely can't live without I would love to um, get it in your hands okay for you to try this at home more effectively than how we just did it here okay um, and I will say and I'm having a, a just a home event um, special tonight only tonight only okay and that also provides the urgency for them to order right then and there and I do bring my computer I have it already set up before they get there I have her party link set up and all that other stuff 
Um, which, by the way, once the once the actual event that evening closes, that's when I take that party link and that's when I post it in the online Facebook event for the three ladies that couldn't come. Okay? Or for the ladies that just can't decide that night and they, they need to think about it. Whatever. All right? Um, but we know as women we're more impulse buyers. So this is where you're going to get most of your sales. Um, I will say, you know, I'll take each of you individually. Um, if you have any questions privately that you want to talk about, um, you know, we can talk over here. And, um, but if you, if there's something that you see that you want, let's get it in your, let's get it into your bathroom. Okay. Um, but I will say tonight only just for Kim, I'm having a special for you guys that anybody that orders over a hundred dollars gets free shipping y'all. And this is not to be sly or manipulative, but they don't know our shipping boundaries. They don't know our shipping thresholds that we always get free shipping at $100. But the way I say it sounds like a show special. So I'll say anybody that orders tonight gets free shipping over $100, okay? And you automatically get a half off credit right here. Like it's not, you don't have, you don't have to wait to use it. You can use it right now. But you have to be very careful that you don't say, hey, if you spend $100, you get 50% 50, 50 off. They're gonna be like, hell yeah! And they're gonna think they're only spending $50. That's no, 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 that's not the case. They have to physically spend $100 to get it over that threshold to get free shipping, and then you add the half price credit, okay? If you don't have a lot of half price credits, that means you're not partying enough online. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. If you don't have enough half price rewards, that means you are not partying enough online to earn those rewards, okay, for yourself, all right? This is where I use my half price credits. I never use them for myself. I never use them when I place orders, you know, for new stuff. I never, ever, ever use them myself because they do not help my PRS, but you know what? They are fantastic for, uh, for home parties, okay? Spend $100, free shipping, and you automatically get a half price credit that you can redeem right now, okay? So, it works, it works. And if you're worried like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna spend $100, well, helly hell, two of our masks are, I mean, our masks are $49, okay? <laughs> So that's gonna get them over $100 anyway, all right? Or they'll get a cleanser and they'll get one mask or whatever, all right? Um, and you can say something like, you know, you can use it on whatever and I'll even apply it to the most expensive item. All right, so once you get over 100 and you still have your eye on that detox mask, let's get you that de detox mask for 25 bucks. That's amazing, all right? <clears throat> and they love it and it works, okay? so. Key is, is that you don't extend that past that evening, all right? Because that is the draw of making sure people are placing those orders that night. So you sit with them, you get on the computer, you do it for them while they sit next to you. Don't, don't send them alone onto the computer to start scrolling on Facebook and checking out your bank account, okay? Sit down there with them because they don't know the website. And just say, like, okay, this is super easy. Let's get these in your cart. Um, <clears throat> And you know, I, I'm like, okay, double check this to make sure it's right. Um, what's your address? And I'll type it in for them. I have them check it. And then I'll say, you know, do you want, do you have a specific credit card you want to use? Okay. We all have that one credit card that's like, ooh, we get airline points. So let's put it on this. All right. Um, she'll pull it out and I'll type it in. I'm like, just double check, make sure that's right. And then I always assure them right then and there, I said, I never keep anybody's credit cards on file. Okay, and neither does our system. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, even though they already know that, it just is kind of a reassurance. And then I drop ship it straight to their house. Okay, um, a lot of times I drop ship it. Sometimes I will have it all sent to me so that way I can jazz up for when I deliver it to them. But it's much easier if you just drop ship it to their house. Okay, um, and then they're done. I'm like, you know, thank you so much. Um, Kim's gonna get some really, really nice hostess rewards. Um, thanks to you guys. Okay. Um, so in my closing, what I say, and this, this is really important to you. Okay. Write this down. <laughs> um, so my hostess will do the drawing and yay. Oh my God. She look what she won. Okay. And she gets the, whatever guest gets the free thing that you put together for her. 
and now she's all happy because she won something, okay, at a party. Um, in the closing, I will say uh, something along the lines of, um, we had such a good time tonight, and you guys were hilarious. I had the most fun with you. Um, thank you for keeping me on my toes or whatever, okay? And I make it very specific to that group of people. Um, and I'll say, if you guys want to do something like this in your house, y'all saw how much fun we had. We can um, do something very similar to this or maybe change themes, you know, whatever. Do it to your liking. Um, if you are interested in that, if I have, or I'll say something like, if three of you guys book a home event just like this one, I'm talking slow so y'all can write it down. If I get three of you amazing ladies to book a home event or a book a girls night in just like this one, then I will give Kim, our hostess, another free gift. I did not say if I get three of you to book a party, I'll give you a free gift. Because psychologically, as women, we would much rather book a home event to help out our friend, to help her get something else for free, okay? Um, and then I will sit by with my calendar and be like, all right, girl, you wanna do this? Let's, let's go, this is what I have open. I have these three dates open. When do you think you can do it? And she'll say, uh, I can't do those, but I can probably do this one. Let's book it for that. And I'll say, great, you know what? I'll just follow up with you here in a couple of days and you do it in a couple days because you don't want to look too needy, okay? You don't want to like message her an hour after you get home. Okay, can we do this date? You know, you don't want to look needy. Message her in a couple days. All right, girl, um, are we still good for February 18th? Are you cool with that? Um, actually, no, I can't. Um, is there any way we could do the next weekend? Yes, perfect. I actually have uh, uh, something that yes, I can fit you in, <laughs> okay? Um, so that's how you get them booked at the party, all right? So bam, your home event just booked three more, all right? And it's like a domino effect. Bam, bam, you're just, you're just knocking them out, all right? So this is where the PRS comes in, all right? You're getting a higher PRS because you've just spent four hours with these ladies, all right? And I'm not knocking online parties, but 10 days of posting can get a little tedious sometimes. Um, but if you can... Dude, if you can sell $500 to $1,000 in a four-hour time period, why wouldn't you do it, all right? But keep in mind, you're going to be doing all that work five days prior getting to know the ladies and everything, too. So um, I, think, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, throughout, this is one more thing. Throughout the event, I will slide in little tidbits of how much I love what I do, <laughs> okay? Like, oh my God, this is so fun. I can't believe this is my job. That's probably one of the biggest things I say. Oh my God, this is so fun. I can't believe this is my job. I say that at every party. <laughs> and they hear it, even though they not, might not be listening to me, they hear it. Oh my God, this is so fun. I can't believe this is my job. Okay? Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. <laughs> if you guys are doing a more of a makeup themed class, okay? Um, my advice would be to pick your top five favorites, okay? If you go and talk about every single thing that we have and all the 50,000 different types of eyeliners and colors and, and, and it's just too much, we can only soak in so much information. So if you take your top five, um, or if you're doing like a, a Valentine's, theme something or other <clears throat> you can make it all about love all right these are the top five things I love hearts 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 you can decorate with hearts everywhere all right draw hearts on their freaking catalog um, hearts on their name tags okay um, with that being said if you are able to get stock and here's the thing that's what I love about our company is that we are not required to have inventory but you are kind of when you are doing home events and that's okay because you can write it all off. All right. So don't forget. So if I have a taffeta liquid foundation, which I currently use myself personally. All right. And then I have my party taffeta. Okay. Cause I don't want to intermix the two. I don't want to, you know, put mine at the party. 
I will label all of my party products, the ones that I know specifically go for home events, with something like this on the bottom. I will tag the underneath so that way I know, oh, this is my party stock. Don't use this at home. <laughs> um, something smaller like um, eyeliners. If you get a you know a whole kit of eyeliners or whatever, the, the pencils, because you know women want to color on themselves, okay? Obviously, you don't want to give them your pencil that you use at home for them to color all over their bodies with. So you tag it with a tiny little dot or some marker. You can get some really cute washi tape at Michael's. You can get some purple stuff. And that way you know what's delineated as your party stuff and what's your stuff. And of course, after the party, you want to make sure that you are um, cleansing, you are disinfecting your products, okay? Because homegirl over here is drawing all over hands and you might have that one person that's like, oh, and puts it on her lips. You're like, oh, don't do that, right? Um, <laughs> so you want to make sure you're wiping and cleaning and doing all that stuff, okay? And more information on that, just Google it, how to clean cosmetics, whatever, all right? Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope this gave you some value. I know this was really crazy long. It was almost an hour. I had a feeling it was going to be, but I promise you, once you get in the rhythm of your home events, it's going to be like a well-oiled machine. You're not going to have to think about scripts. You're just going to, you're just going to be you, um, having fun. You're not going to get too like presentation like, okay, so the very first thing we do is the rose water and this is what, whatever. Just speak like a normal human being, like you're talking to your friends, okay? Just imagine them that all of them are your best friends and you talk to them just the way you would talk to your actual best friends, okay? Minus any sort of cursing or inappropriateness, <laughs> okay? Um, anyway, I hope that helps. Share with your teams. Tag them on here if they weren't able to get on. I challenge you guys. Um, like Kanisha said, I, I try to book two parties a month, all right? I'm very busy mom of three. You know, they're all in stuff, gymnastics, baseball, and all those stuff. And I, I want to make sure that I'm still spending time with my family. I don't want to be gone every single weekend, every, you know, both nights. Find what works for you in your schedule. If you can bust out two parties a week, oh my God, could you imagine your PRS? If you could bust that out and, you can, and you're cool with that type of schedule, go for it. For me, it's two times a month max. That's a minimum of, of $1,000. Bam, right there in PRS. Um, and I'm happy with it. I'm still making the connections and that's what works for me and my family. All right. Um, but you can always book more. All right. So I challenge you guys and I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, what is it? Today is January 12th. We're halfway through the month. I challenge you guys to book at least one party this month and then the next month book two. Okay. And then the next month at least two again. All right. I know you can do it. It's going to take some practice. The very first time you do it, you're going to be like, oh my God, that was embarrassing. I totally screwed that up. I did the same thing. I was like, that was stupid. I can't believe I did that. But I did it again, and then I did it again, and then I did it again, and I got better and better and better and better and better at it to now where I'm not even nervous about having a home of it ever again. Okay? Um, good luck. Good luck, my wise sisters. Have fun and just enjoy yourselves. All right? Love you all. Thanks for joining and um, good luck getting to Cancun. I will see you there. I'm so excited. All right. Love to you all. Bye.